Von Nomad, just a minute. You're very welcome. As we gather for Sun Tree Issa, or the Lullaby of Jesus, where we look at the readings for tomorrow, Sunday the 10th of November. Now, if it wasn't a Sunday, we would be celebrating the feast above of St. Leo, great Pope, who was uh, from 400 to 461 is his period of time. Um, he was an excellent pastor. There are notes about him under the video, and as usual, a connection to a good article in catholicireland.net. The gospel tomorrow is the gospel from St. Mark chapter 12, and you have the poor widow who is going to the temple and people are putting in generous amounts into the treasury. And she comes along and she puts in two small coins, the equivalent of a penny. And Jesus observes and realizes that what she's given, she's given with absolute love and trust because she's put in everything she possessed. Now, the danger is that we're going to criticize her for that, that it was very foolish and that she shouldn't have done it. And we find ourselves doing what Judas did when the woman anointed Jesus with the costly ointment, criticizing an act of love that we don't understand. But Jesus recognizes that just as she gives her all, and he is going to give his all on Calvary, that here is someone who has discovered what it is to love in the way that God loves. Now, this is very challenging for us. We find in the second reading, we're told, so Christ offers himself once to only to take the faults of many on himself. He too loves and gives his all. And the first reading, first reading is the story which I always find fascinating of Elijah and the Sidonian wi widow and the jar of oil. She gives her all to the prophet and shares it. And God blesses her generosity, and rewards her for her generosity by providing for her all the days through the famine. So we are confronted with a love that appears on the part of the widow to be most unreasonable. We would say she perhaps did something that was crazy. But love can appear to be crazy. And in the second letter, the letter to the Hebrews, we see Christ paying the price of our sin by laying down his life. And we see the widow sacrificing potentially herself and her child to look after the prophet. Love is an extraordinary thing. Love is a thing of great generosity. And this is where we have to pray that the Spirit will guide us in growing in love. With thoughts such as these, let us go to our beds and let us pray that we shall indeed awaken in the morning, Sunday morning, with the praise of God on our hearts and on our lips. Agus gamana dia le kotak shiv, ahur malka gaspirit neva men. Slangafon, bye for now.